Saturn versus Jupiter. Dude, whoa, that is epic. I wonder who's gonna win? Who will prevail? How's it going everybody? My name is Finplay. We're playing Universe Sandbox. We're playing it in VR. We're gonna be smashing some stuff together, all right? Destroying some planets, starting with Earth. Now the moon is over there. I'm gonna leave the moon over there. He's just gonna be like an innocent bystander just flying around. We've got Earth here. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna move a little bit closer to Earth. Can we bring this thing up? Oh, there it is. There it is. Let's just bring him up here so we can see him. Well, where am I? Where's Australia? It's around here somewhere. It's probably on the back there. Okay, let's grab another planet. So in this video, we're going to be smashing lots of different planets together. It's basically going to be like a Royal Rumble. And I wanted to know if we could make Earth so big that we can actually make it take on the sun. You know what I mean? It can fight the sun. That would be awesome. So here we have Venus and we have the Earth. Now time is going... It's quite quite quick at the moment. I'm just gonna put Venus here though. All right, and let's just smack Venus, which looks pretty similar to Earth's size, doesn't it? Let's just smack Venus into Earth. Look at this! Oh, look at that collision! That was intense! It happened so quick! Now Earth is 3,400 degrees Celsius. I've got banana controllers just because I thought I thought I could use them for scale. Because that's a realistic size of a banana, isn't it? Look at that. We'll just put it next to Earth. That's pretty much the same. Let's grab Venus. And just move it. Oh, look at that. It started to get really hot all of a sudden. <laughs> oh, I see what happened. It actually got some, like, fragments smashed into it. All right, let's just combine these two together. Go on. Crash. Crash. Dude, that is awesome. You can see Earth actually grow in size because it's just it's swallowed Venus, something severe. So this is Earth post-collision with both Venuses. You can see Earth growing in size as all these like fragments and stuff are starting to come together. So we've increased the mass 140, 150 times regular Earth. That's a big Earth. Okay, I'm going to speed up time a little bit. Whoa! <laughs> Get back. Get back. You're too close to me, giant Earth. That is one hot earth. All right, let's just give it some of this silicate. What is that? That's a fragment. That, oh God. Oh God, what's happening? <laughs> We've created an absolute monster of a planet. It is no longer a planet. It's turned into Jupiter. This is terrible. We've ruined earth and we've turned it into Jupiter. All right, hang on. Let's slow things down a little bit. I'm sure there's an earth in there somewhere. I just don't know where that is. Here's Jupiter. Oh, it's about the same size as Jupiter. It's just a little bit smaller. Okay, I'm gonna give my Earth more iron now. It needs way more iron because it, it's too gaseous at the moment, I think. Way too much gas going on. Oh, it's a sun. <laughs> Earth is now a sun. Great. Oops. Don't you hate it when your Earth just becomes a sun? Ah, uh, it's still got nothing on Banana Planet, though. Well, how big is it now? How big is Earth <laughs> compared to Sun? Let's have... Oh, it's still got a little bit to go till it can fight the Sun. That's the Sun right there. We need to just roid up Earth a little bit more. We've got to bulk it up, man. The Earth's getting some serious gains. Oh, look at that solar flare thing. If that's what it is, that's pretty cool. <laughs> it's gonna burn me. Get it away. Believe it or not, that's our Earth, and it's now 1.2 times the size of a sun. It's just a little bit bigger than the sun, all right? Let's smack it into the sun. We're gonna make these guys fight. It's, it's way bigger than the sun. <laughs> okay. Let's just slow down time, and let's put these two suns together. All right, sun, go. Fight. Oh, that is bright. That is bright. It's too hard to look at. I can't look at it without burning my eyes. Never look at two suns. All right, never look at two suns. Oh, there we go. Now we've got some movement. I don't even know what's going on. Let's just speed it up. Oh! <laughs> I think I sped it up too much. What even happened? What did we just make? Whoa, dude. That is cool. That's, there's Earth in there somewhere. I know there's Earth in there. All right, round two, Earth versus Mars. 
Okay, let's put Mars right here. Let's slow it right down though, so we can get this thing nice and slow. It's coming in, it's coming in. Oh, dude. Wow! That was awesome! Look at the chunks of crap coming off everywhere! Is that... What is that? Is that a fragment or is that Mars? Is that what's left of Mars? I think Earth just absorbed it and you can see all these like little bits crashing back into Earth. Whoa. Oh, there goes all the water. Great! Let's make another Mars. Try and keep it away from Earth as much as we can. Alright, let's just put it over there. Keep it, no, 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 come back, come back. I'm gonna hit Mars with a whole bunch of water. Just to see if we can cool Mars down a little bit, you know what I mean? Give it a little bit of life. Let's give it, let's give it a good chunk of water. So Mars is currently minus 47 degrees Celsius. Let's just give it a, well, that's a lot of water. Okay. Did it just change in temperature? I don't even know what just happened. It is changing in size, that's for sure. Bye, Earth. See you, buddy. All right, let's give it a little bit of hydrogen. There we go. Maybe a little bit of iron. <laughs> chuck a bit of iron on there. Bit of silicate. Just chuck it all these things on Mars just to see what happens. I'm gonna hit it with nine moons worth of water. <laughs> Here we go. Whoa! It just got big. It just looks like a bigger rocky planet. Why? Why is the water not on the surface? Have another Mars, right there. Bang! There we go! Yes! That warmed things up way too much! <laughs> Got super hot all of a sudden. So, the reason why if you put a bit of water on there, it just changes to that color, I'm pretty sure is that's ice. So, because it's minus, you know, 47 degrees, any water you chuck on there is just gonna make this thing, like, frozen over. Perfect! Here's a good size. Alright, take that. Yes! Oh, that brought the temperature in the right direction. It's now currently minus two degrees. Hey, nine degrees. That's perfect. We just, look at that. We're starting to actually get some atmosphere now on Earth. The, uh, Earth? Mars. Oh, look at that. You can actually see the parts that were frozen now are actually turning into water. All right, let's give it a little bit more. Just a little bit more water. Create some actual continents. Um, I just added a little bit of hydrogen and I sent the, uh, I just sent the temperature right down. <laughs> I'm sorry. Great, now we have an icy rock. I'm just pelting it with planets over and over and over again to try and bring the temperature up. And then if we can bring the temperature up, we can start to get a bit of an atmosphere going on. Because if once it gets an atmosphere, I think then that'll actually hold. So this thing at the moment is 97 degrees Celsius. That is quite hot. <laughs> but we do. We've got an actual planet here now. Mars looks like a planet. Look at that. That there could be New Australia. That tiny little bit. Sadly, it's about to be destroyed by a black hole though. So what, dude, that is cool. Look at this. Where's the black hole gone? I don't know where the black hole went. Okay, I'm gonna get a bigger black hole. Black holes are basically the buttholes of the universe. They're really big. <laughs> Except things tend to go in them instead of coming out of them. Oh, you can see everything get- where well, it's gone. Oh, we gotta hit play. Okay, play. Go! Spin! Alright, oh, look at that! Everything's spinning around! That is awesome. Don't you love it when the world just spins? Alright, now let's add some stuff to the solar system. I'm gonna turn off trails, um, because trails is a bit, bit annoying. What happens when you fire a Jupiter right at the sun? You ready? I'm just gonna, just, I, I'm aiming as best as I can. Whoa! I just fired a Jupiter off way out there somewhere! Okay, maybe too fast. I'm gonna hit the sun in a minute. I'm trying. I'm just firing like a stack of Jupiters at the sun and like nothing's happening. Let's just try and maybe uh, kick things up a little notch, eh? We'll just fire a sun at the sun. Just to check. Yep, that's a sun. Let's try this. Whoa! You could see it changed the gravity of everything. Oh, dude. That is pretty awesome. I've, I've just destroyed the gravity of, of the solar system. I don't even know where Earth is anymore. 
Whoa! What did I just do? I think I just exploded some suns together. Oh, that is awesome! Alright, there goes another sun. They're really hard to hit. Okay, you gotta stop exploding suns together. You end up creating just these massive things. What are they called? Are these called nebulas? I think they're called nebulas. Well, let's try the obvious. Let's try like Jupiter versus Saturn. Let's just create a Jupiter. All right, let's put it right here. Bang, there's your Jupiter. It's right there. Need to zoom out a little bit. Everything's way too big. Okay, cool, we've got Jupiter. Now let's create a Saturn. All right, there's Saturn. Hey, nice. Hey, where's Saturn's rings? Doesn't have any rings. I guess the rings aren't actually part of Saturn, are they? They're like just the stuff around Saturn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here it goes. Saturn versus Jupiter. Dude, I can't tell if that's hot or just super bright. What is that? Is that hot? Yeah, it just got really hot. <laughs> Whoa, that is epic. I wonder who's going to win. Who will prevail? Oh, look at... Look at Jupiter. It looks like a mess. I can't even tell where Saturn's gone. I think Saturn just got swallowed by Jupiter. Yep, there it goes. All right, you think you're so good, Jupiter? Oh, it's pretty. It is pretty good. <laughs> it's getting bigger and bigger now. All right, have a couple more Saturns for you. Where'd that one go? No, no, you go back the other way. Here, have that. Have another Saturn. Have another one. It's gonna keep chucking them on there. All the chunks of Saturn have like just gone. All right, let's see if we can orbit one. Nah. A little bit closer. Nah. It's not orbiting at all. Oh, that's weird as heck. Just keep hitting them. One after the next. Let's hit old Jupiter here with Neptune. Just keep hitting him. Is he gonna grow? I don't know what's happened. I think it's like gone really fast. It's big. No, it's actually shrinking. <laughs> it's hot and shrinking. It's getting way smaller. What is it gonna become? Like a golf ball? There's only one thing left to do when you're angry at a planet. Just fire basketballs at it. <laughs> there you go, Jupiter. Have a whole stack of basketballs, buddy. So that's Universe Sandbox in VR. If you guys know of any things you'd like to see me create, let me know in the comments below. And thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked it, give us one of these ones. And I'll see you guys next time.